<sighs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I have something special for you. Three movie, one review. The first review we have here is Sky Sharks, that originally revealed as a trailer in 2016, but was not released until 2021. Anyway, Sky Sharks was a, is a trailer back in 2016. It's 2016. It came out at the same time as Iron Sky, The Coming Race. The film must have been in development hell since it was released in 2021, and this is a really bad Nazi zombies type film. Heck, dead. Dead Snow is better. Dead Snow 2, Red vs. Dead is better. In 1944-1945, two Nazi SS officers create a super soldier serum that makes dead zombies. Also, flying sharks are used as anti-aircraft slash assault vehicles. In Antarctica, not, a not practical Reich fist ship is uncovered. Nah, not something being is in her <clears throat> the Nazi who's not Benjamin Button, who is 115 years old. God dang it. Don't worry. Nazi, not Benjamin Button, who is 115 years old, sends his older daughter to investigate the ship in Antarctica. And pretty much nothing really happens. The Sky Sharks attack and destroy a bunch of uh, airplanes. Although technically, old stories claim it's about some Vietnam things, but nothing Really happened. The film's tagline is We didn't play God, we were gods. Anyway, pretty ridiculous film. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, Rogue is a 2020 film starring Megan Fox. A group of mercenaries are hired to rescue the daughter of a South African governor. Our first shot of the film is at a lion farm. Unnamed pieces of crap are cut down by the lion, are killed by a lion, and they're basically selling the lions to the Chinese because their Chinese are running out of elephant tusks. An angry mama lion kills all of the poachers, and then we cut to Megan Fox as her team of mercs assault the compound in a stealth scene. Her sniper shoots a bad guy and alerts the guards. The team finds and releases the three girls. They make it to a cliff, and after expending ammo, they jump off. One of the wounded mercs sacrifices herself so the rest can escape. After going down the stream, the team regroups. One of the girls refuses to move and is killed by a crocodile. On the cliff, the bra brother of the kidnapper has to be put down. The team finds the lion farm. Two survivors are put inside the and. And the lioness basically picks off the march one by one as well as the bad guys. It is soon revealed that the daughter was kidnapped because her father, who is the governor, was not paying the profits from his lion farm. And they were not going to the kidnappers group. But that pretty much sums up this film. It is pretty boring. And in the end of the movie, we see the mama reunited with her cubs. And now we have Breach. Breach so stars Cody Kearsley, Bruce Willis, and Thomas Jane. Breach is basically, the Earth is basically destroyed and the people are trying to go find a new home. Basically, and this young guy gets on board the ship and he's actually impregnated the daughter of the commander, which is played by Thomas Jane. And they're basically being stuck. A group of other team members decide they want to revolt against him and have him killed and unleash an alien virus similar to uh, what you see something like Dead Space. The film is actually pretty decent on the action. The creature's only weakness is fire. And they have these weird AR flamethrower things that they run around using. Tom Jane has a weird PDW Glock weapon that he uses in the film. He ends up getting killed off though and in the end of the film though the, the guy who's who's basically in love with the daughter and has her impregnated, they both manage to make it to the planet 
only to find out that the planet called Earth 2 that they were supposed to get on is actually being assaulted by the very same aliens. And then we see a giant kaiju creature. The creature itself kind of looks hilarious, but actually pretty decent practical effects.